Thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you had a great, uh, great Thanksgiving. Uh, the weather out there is rough. It's spitting. It's snowing, depending on where you are in the state. So make sure everybody's uh, careful driving. Uh, I'm on my way down to D.C. to continue my work for the uh, people of the 2nd District. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update of where we stand with this, this whole uh, vote count circus. Um, we all know that since day one, this rank vote process has been a real problem. That's why the Maine Supreme Court had to deal with it. That's why there were two referendums in the state of Maine dealing with this. And by the way, the folks of the 2nd District that I represent twice rejected rank uh, choice voting. Um, but then I thought that, frankly, and hoped that on Election Day it would be a little bit different, but it has not been. There's been lots and lots of confusion on Election Day. You folks have all reported this, have seen this. Uh, we've had hundreds and hundreds of folks that have come to us and said, you know, Bruce, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to mark in every column, uh, and I was told that unless I do that, uh, my ballot would be thrown out. Some folks have come to us and said, gee, I just wanted to vote for you, and so I was told that it's okay to vote for you in every column, and then other folks said that uh, that, that vote would be thrown out. Uh, and then on top of that, unfortunately, a lot of our volunteers at the, uh, at the polling stations uh, were giving conflicting instructions to, uh, to the voters. So it's really been confusing since day one. Some folks saying, gee, should I have voted once, or how about two or three times, and on and on and on. Uh, another concern that I've had that has uh, come up recently is that there are thousands and thousands of under ballots that have been uh, put aside. That is very, very unusual. Usually when you have an election, there might be a few hundred, but here there have been thousands and thousands of under ballots, and how do you deal with those? That's an issue. And then yesterday, everyone should be concerned about this, the Secretary of State mentioned that they found some new votes. Now this is two weeks after this rank vote black box circus, you know, should have been over. This is two weeks later, the Secretary of State found hundreds of, uh, of additional votes. So, you know, so the question is, what do I do? It'd be a heck of a lot easier for me to just walk away from this. It would be very irresponsible. This is a very big deal to make sure every vote in Maine is accurately counted. Um, and I think it's time that we have real ballots counted by real people. Real ballots counted by real people instead of this black box that, is, uh, that computes uh, who wins and who loses. Uh, so we uh, initiated a vote count, uh, a recount, I should say, starting yesterday. Uh, we're going forward with that, so now it's in the hands of the folks that do that. But I'll tell you, we got to get this right. This is not about who wins or who loses this election. This is about a new rank vote chaotic system in the state of Maine that's been introduced. It's never been tested at the federal level. This is the first time. We're the only state in the country that uses this. On election day, I won. The Secretary of State confirmed that. One person, one vote. And now this chaotic system has, uh, has, uh, has kicked in. And uh, we've got to get to the bottom of this. We've got to get this right. And that's why the, uh, the recount was started. Uh, but with that, if anybody has any questions, we'd be delighted to answer them. Congressman, if, oh. if I'm going to get a little closer, Paul, because my so ears are bad. Unless you speak up. If, if the recount At my age, you've got to make sure you get a little closer. <laughs> you got that old. <clears throat> if the recount shows that you won under the ranked choice voting rules, mm -hmm. will you still continue to fight the constitutionality of that process? Oh, of course. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. Win or lose, we've got to make sure the voters of Maine have confidence when they go in the voting booth to say, number one, is my vote being cast legally? And second of all, is it being counted accurately? Oh, sure, we're going through with that, and I announced this uh, Way before we uh, we start, no, I'm not sure. Way before, but before we started the process, yeah, we're going to go through with that. Yes, yeah. Are you, are, you, uh, are you still working with uh, Jared Holden on a transition during this during this recount process? Well, we are continuing to do our casework. Now, this is really important. Aaron Dowdy is one of our great caseworkers out of our Lewiston office. We have professionals in Lewiston, Bangor, and Caribou, and they know how to navigate the bureaucracy, if you're a veteran trying to get your disability payments, or you're trying to get a, uh, a passport, or you're a senior trying to get your social security payments, or what have you. They are experts at, at doing this. They're going to continue to do this right up until the end. 
uh, and then we'll deal with it just like we did in 2014. You say you've heard from hundreds of voters. Will you be yeah. releasing those emails or letters or however you've heard? Well, that's something for the campaign to decide. Uh, you folks monitor, I'm sure, social media and everything else. And, um, and there have been hundreds and hundreds of people that have reached out to us. So you, you've seen it in the press. Uh, lots of confusion. And I think that's one of the reasons why it took so long to vote on Election Day. Uh, I was up at the Bangor a polling station, the largest one in our district, uh, from about 7 in the morning until 8 at night. In fact, I was there from 7 in the morning until 8 at night. And the lines were huge. It took, it took how are you today? Thank you. Thanks. And it took, uh, it took forever. Uh, some folks were waiting one to two hours. Some folks just gave up and left because it was so long. Now, one of the reasons, because the voter turnout was high, the second is because this chaotic um, rank vote process that has never been used here in the state of Maine before. That's why we don't use it uh, for our state elections in the general elections. That's why our governor and our state legislature uh, was not selected this way, because the Supreme Court in Maine said it's illegal. Now we need to make sure if it's also illegal or not for a federal office under the U.S. Constitution. But the, the, um, the recount is separate from that. It deals specifically to make sure everybody's vote is counted accurately. And when you have a black box computer algorithm that, the, that we can't check, no one has no, any oversight on this. Secretary of State uh, does not allow anybody to check this. There's no transparency. And then when you have hundreds of new votes that are found, uh, as reported in the press yesterday, two weeks after the circus was supposed to be over, and we have thousands and thousands of under ballots, and all this confusion at the, uh, at the polling stations, it's my responsibility to make sure we get to the bottom of this and we get this right. Congressman, you keep on using the words chaotic and confusing. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of voters did seem to use the ranked choice system. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, we, did, we haven't heard reports of mass confusion. Where are you guys getting this? Oh, we're, this getting this, we're getting this all the time through emails and phone calls and, uh, and social media. Uh, been uh, lots and lots of confusion. Uh, and I if the process is so great, why are there thousands and thousands of underballots that you don't know how to deal with? And why are, why do we find, why did the Secretary of State's office find hundreds of new ballots yesterday, two weeks after the circus was supposed to be over? There's been a lot of confusion at the ballot box, uh, lots of confusion in the last two years. That's why the Maine Supreme Court got involved. That's why the legislature got involved. That's why the voters in the second district rejected it twice. Mentioned, you mentioned the, the thousands of undervotes, and yeah. there's some overvotes too. Yeah. Um, but with the margin and the number, you really have to flip a lot of those for you to be successful in your recount. I mean, what do you think your odds are of prevailing in a recount? This is about making sure the system works. This is about making sure every Mainer that goes to the polls knows that he is or she casting his or her vote legally and making sure that vote is counted accurately. This has never been used any other place in the country for a federal race. It's illegal in the state of Maine in general elections to elect state officials like our governor. We don't know if it's illegal at the, uh, at, uh, under the U.S. Constitution. So it's about making sure everybody's vote is counted accurately. That's what we're doing. One more. What faith do you have in the, in, in your court case, given that the judge was initially skeptical of your constitutionality arguments? Well, remember, that was an expedited uh, process to stop the process so we had time to, to go and argue our case in front, of, uh, in front of the judge, in front of Judge Walker. And that uh, next Wednesday, uh, uh, December 5th, will be the full hearing with a full argument. This is just the start of the process. This is a really big deal. You know, our United States Constitution ensures our voting rights. This is critically important in the state of Maine. The Maine Constitution says that, in fact, uh, voting uh, has to be decided by a plurality, not a majority, by a plurality. That's the Maine Constitution. That's why the, the rank choice black box process is illegal uh, in general elections in Maine. And that's why the governor's race and the, and the legislative races were not, uh, did not use this black box process. 
So okay. we've got to make sure we go forward with this. Are you going to be elevating this to the U.S. House or the you know Supreme Court or anything? Or? Well, this is just the beginning of the legal process. And again, there was a a, a temporary order that that we went through a couple weeks ago. The first hearing is on Wednesday of next week, a week from uh, from tomorrow, and that's the start of this process. So we are uh, we. Well, my responsibility is to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. And part of that is making sure that everybody has the right to vote freely and legally. And so this has never been tested before. Uh, it is my job to make sure that, that this vote process, this black box process, uh, if it's going to continue, it's got to be legal. No one's ever done this before. You know, frankly, I think the people of Maine, whether you're in the first district or the second district, they deserve to know if their vote is being cast legally and if their vote is being counted accurately. That's my responsibility. If I don't do that, I'm not doing my job. So you're not ruling anything out at this point? This is just the beginning of the process? Well, yeah, it's the beginning of the process, yeah, of course. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful Christmas. Happy holiday to everybody.